GTA 5 players are familiar with the fact that GTA doesn't offer any FPS counters. This can cause issues when players are trying to adjust their graphics settings to find the, the best looking graphics while maintaining performance. And most players would want to play around 90 ping or higher, but this can be a little difficult to gauge when you don't have an FPS counter. So in this video I'll be showing you how exactly you can enable that to keep track of your performance. So the first method we're going to use is um, external software, right? So um, you can use this FPS monitor to monitor FPS for any of your games. It doesn't necessarily have to be GTA 5. You could use it for Lethal Company or Spider-Man or whatever else, right? So you want to head on over to Google Chrome and you want to find this website, FPS Monitor. How you do that, you just type in FPS uh, counter and that works. And the first link will be FPS Monitor. So you want to download this and you want to head on over to it. You want to open it and you'll get something that looks like this. So this would be um, your game screen. Like what you see here, this is your game screen. And then top left of your, your corner, you will have this whenever you open any game. As long as you have FPS counter running in the background, it'll display all these stats. Um, now I've disabled some of these. You can just turn some of these off. You don't need all these different stats because you, you really just want your FPS, right? So as you can see, mine's right there in that corner. You can increase the, the font and all that kind of stuff. You can change the color. Obviously, you can make it green if you'd like, uh, whatever works for you. And I'm um, looking for the font here. Here we go. So I can change the, the size, make that 20, so now you can see it better, right? So it'll show you all kinds of um, statistics here. Uh, I don't have any games open, so it's not monitoring, monitoring anything. So it's zero frames. Uh, it'll show you lag, all kinds of different things. You can see FPS max, average, um, anything you'd need. Particularly if you're a nerd, this program works great for you. It can even display ping. I see that now. I didn't see that before. Okay, ping. That's a cool one. You can display your ping and stuff. So this is a good method to do that for absolutely any program. Uh, game, I mean, not program. You can um, you can display your frames. It's good. It's good. Well, if this isn't something you want to do, if you don't want to install external hardware. There is another option for people that's quite simple, and I'll show you that just now. So let's say you have GTA 5 installed through Steam. Uh, Steam has an inbuilt function that allows you to display frames through their own program. So the way you do that is you want to open Steam like I have here. You want to head on over to the Steam icon, top left of your screen, click on that, navigate to settings, and then you want to find the in-game option down here. Click on that, and as you can see, in-game FPS counter. You just want to top left, uh, wherever you want it, let's say bottom right. I like to have it down here so you can keep that. And you can check up on your FPS every now and again. That's why I have it there. But um, when you close this and you open any game, it'll show up in the bottom left, your, your FPS. I currently don't need it, so I'm just going to turn that off. But that's how you would do it for Steam. Now, let's say, for example, you have GTA installed through Epic Games, right? You want to head on over to add a game, add a non-Steam game. And you want to select your Rockstar Games Launcher. Right, so you'll have that. I'm um, not seeing it here. So we'll just search the list. Rockstar Games Launcher, there it is. Select that, add selected programs. And then you just want to search for it. Rockstar Games Launcher, there you go. And when you launch Rockstar from here, you'll be able to um, open GTA 5 and it'll show your FPS in the bottom right. Or wherever you set it to, but your FPS will be showing. So um, those are the two methods I have for you that allow you to display your frames. I personally prefer the FPS monitor because it's simple, it's easy. Um, I hope this has resolved any issues you've been having. I hope you've um, learned something today. You can ask me additional questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer. I'll catch you guys a different time.